Hi, and we are at example number three. We have a trapezium now, and what we have to do is we have to divide it into two parts such that we can then reassemble those parts and make a triangle. So what are the rules here is, well, we, if we need to reassemble those two parts to make a triangle, that nothing should be left, right? Or we, sh we, would, we, we can't overlap the things. We need to just put them together in a different way such that the resulting thing is a triangle. And, you know, no one really told us that we need to cut above a, like, uh, on, on a straight line uh, or anything. It just, we just need to make two parts. But, well, if we don't do it, if we, like, do, like, a cut over, like, uh, you know, like, like this, or, like, try to do something funny, then reassembling that is going to be really difficult. So what we're going to stick to is trying to make a single cut and then reassemble those two parts in a different way, okay? First thing, well, we, if you want to, like, think about it for, uh, you know, um, instead of just uh, looking for a creative solution straight away, let's think about what uh, a good solution has to satisfy. Well, trapezium has four sides and four vertices, and a triangle has three sides and three vertices, right? So by cutting and reassembling, we are sort of making one side disappear and we're making, we're making one vertex disappear. What does that mean is that, well, if you reassemble, um, some two vertices have to sort of cover each other, so they have to be on top of each other, and that will make them disappear. Or the other way uh, that can, the other thing that can happen, well, this one for vertices is the only thing that can happen. For sides, uh, yeah, cutting from sides produces new vertices. So for example, if you cut like this, then we are going to have two vertices here that are produced and now we have six vertices and we have to like putting them together again is going to be quite difficult. Uh, any cut will produce new size because we cut through to, we, uh, we basically produce a side here and this part has a side, has a new side and this part has a new side. So we have more sides and we want to have fewer sides, right? How do we make fewer sides? Well, we want to combine them again, as I said, combine sides by overlapping and ext or extending parallel. What does it mean is that, well, if you have two bits, right? If we put them, if you have like two things and we put them together, you can put them together like that. Or extending parallel is if you have something like that and something like, like, um, like that, and we put them together then this side is extended to this side and it now becomes one side, right? So this is all thinking about how to do it, and there are multiple ways. Uh, I, mean, I mean, maybe multiple, maybe not. One notable uh, sort of attempt that you can you might try to do is cutting like this, right? Um, and that is tempting because, as I said, uh, the triangle has three vertices and the trapezium has four. So by cutting through two vertices, we're not producing any new vertices, and it might be tempting to try that. And then we're like, okay, so this this thing sort of fits here, and we might want to do something like that, right? But the problem is that this thing is actually, we will need to flip it to put it here, and we are not really allowed to flip things, like no one told us that we are. So we might think that that works, but actually this triangle is a mirror image of this triangle, so this doesn't work. Uh, there's a different way, which looks like this. Basically, we get a cut here, this cut here, and then this part is just flipped by 180 degrees and ends up being this part, right? We can see that this triangle is just rotated and put here. We can see that, first of all, this slope is just gets uh, uh, overlapped with this one, so we get, one, get rid of one side, and then this thing being parallel because it's a trapezium to this side, it just gets extended. Right, so we have an extension here. We have one side made from two, and here one side made from two, which we create. And then again, this one is a new side that we create, and we get one side made from two. So that means we have total of three sides and three vertices because uh, C gets um, uh, overlapped over B, and this new E point well uh, gets uh, is in the middle of the side, so it doesn't really work as a vertex because uh, you know it doesn't it doesn't create an angle and then we have a new thing F which is basically coming from D but that doesn't 
you know, uh, it's not a problem for us because we already sort of killed two vertices by placing them at the middle of the side. Maybe let's not try to overthink this. It's not a difficult problem. All you have to f do is sort of think strategically where to cut those things and when to put them, how to put them together. The important thing is that if you put them together, you need to make sure that, you know, if you want to have a straight line, then this angle here has to be 180 degrees because then it doesn't count as an additional vertex. And the same here, uh, if this is 180 degrees, then it doesn't count as an additional vertex. And that's pretty much the only thing you need to make sure. And uh, well, that, that those things actually overlap. There's not like a gap here or anything like that. And if that's the case, you should be good. Uh, so I'm saying this, maybe you want to find your own solution to this problem that works slightly differently. Uh, so, so just be wary of those things that if you put things like almost together, like this looks like it's almost, almost, um, a straight, but it's not actually straight. You know, it might be like 190 degrees or something. It's a bit more Then it doesn't work. This is not a triangle, right? So just, uh, if you want to find your own creative solution, go for it, but make sure those things are, are there. That this is actually a triangle, right? All right. That will be it. Um, and good luck with the problems today. Don't forget the formula of the triangle. Uh, formula of the area of the triangle is going to be very useful. Um, also rectangle, it shouldn't be anything anything more than that. And don't think some problems are a bit more challenging, but they don't require any other knowledge than that. At least they shouldn't. All right, thank you very much and good luck. Oh, I actually had something written here. <laughs>